Good morning, children. As we discussed the day one, we discussed about the seeds. Now, in the day two, we will discuss about the new plants. How they will grow? The part of the plant. There are different parts of the plant which grow into new plants like stem, root, leaves. Okay. Let us discuss about the topic. Our topic is new plants from other parts of the plant. Suppose you are plant, you are growing some rose plants and hibiscus plants in your houses. What you will do? They have to grow. So not only water required, but you have to do the stem cuttings. Always the rose plant and hibiscus go with the stem cuttings. If you cut the stem, then it will grow. It will grow more. Okay. So always the stem is like uh, the rose plant and hibiscus. You have to go with the stem cuttings. Coming to the next one, potato. Potato. When you see the potato, how the new plant will grow from the potato? You can see the buds here. Some buds in between. Buds or eyes, both are same. Okay. So you can see some buds in between. And this from this buds only the new plants will grow. Okay. And the potato is an underground stem. And coming to the next one, you take the onion. Onion and ginger. Onion and ginger are the examples of underground stem. Okay. When you are, it will grow in the underground. Onion, ginger, potato, this all are underground stems. Okay. Coming to the next one from the root. The new plant will grow from the root. How? This is the carrot and beetroot. This will grow from the root. From the root they will grow into the new plant. Okay. And coming to the next one, bryophyllum. Bryophyllum is nothing but from the leaf only the another so only the plant will grow in the leaf only. So that we call it as bryophyllum. Bryophyllum is nothing but slowly uh, the plant will grow from the leaf only. That we call it as bryophyllum. Okay, go the point. This is about the new plants from other parts of the plants. Coming to the next topic, crops and vegetables. There are two types of crops. What are those? Curry crop and rabi crop. There are the two types of crops which grow in summer and winter. Curry crop grow in summer in the same way rabi crop grow in winter. Okay, so in the summer means what is the time? The month, June to October. Okay, curry crop will grow from June to October which we call it as a summer season. And coming to the rabi crop. Rabi crop grows in the winter. Okay. And in the winter the time is uh, November to April. Okay. In this month they will grow. Okay. Coming to the next one. Examples. Examples of curry crop. Rice, maize, etc. These are examples of curry crop. In the same way coming to the rabi crop. Okay. Uh, wheat, ground. These are the examples of the rabi crop. Coming to the vegetables. Vegetables that grow in summer season as well as in the winter season. Okay. Means in curry crop and rabi crop. Coming to the curry crop. Okay. The examples for vegetables. Brinzon and pumpkin are the examples. They are the vegetables which grow in summer. Coming to the cauliflower radish which, we, which they will grow in winter. So these are the two crops which according to the season wise the uh, they will grow. These are the two crops. Okay. Coming to the next topic, types of soil. Okay. For all these crops, we require the types of soil. In which soil they will grow well. Okay. Coming to the first one, rice and jute. Rice and jute will grow in a clay soil. Okay. Coming to the zoa and bajra, they will grow in a sandy soil. Okay. Coming to the cotton. Cotton will grow in a black soil. And tea plants. Many you will see tea plants in the hill areas as well as in the slopes also. Okay. Mainly they require moist soil. Okay. And coconut. Mainly coconut in the coastal areas only. Okay. Coming to the next one. Maize. And maize will grow in the dry soil. And onion and groundnut. They will grow in the sandy soil. So, if this types of soil, this types of crops, for this types of crops, this types of soils are required. Okay? If this types of soil is there, 
the crop will grow very healthy. Okay, coming to the next topic. How do farmers grow good and healthy crops? Many farmers will check the climate as well as soil in the same season. All the three points they will check. Farmers will check when they are growing a crop. They will check whether the soil is good or not. Whether the climate, according to the climate only, they will grow the crop in the same season. All the three they will check. Then only they will grow. And next point is, second point is, they plow the seed. Okay? And third point is, they mainly take the healthy seed and ripen seeds. Okay? Because it will grow very well, very healthy. Okay, coming to the next point. Okay, mainly they will add manure or fertilizers. To me, they will mix this manure and fertilizers in the soil. Why they will mix? Because the crop will grow very healthy. Okay, that's why they will mix this manure as well as fertilizers. And fertilizers such as urea, ammonium sulfate, superphosphate, and nitrate. These are the four chemicals they will use. These are as a fertilizer. They are mixed with the soil. Suppose overdose of chemicals if you are using. If the farmers are using overdose of chemicals, it will be harmful. So we should not use overdose. That one also the farmers will check. All these points are required. And irrigation mainly. Okay. Uh, irrigation also they will check. All these points are required for a good growth and healthy crops. Okay, so farmers always check all these things when they are starting to grow a crop. Okay, so these are the main points. Coming to the next one, protection of crops and storage of seeds. Suppose a farmer is uh, growing one crop, he is checking everything. In the same way when he is growing a crop, you have to protect the crop also, no? So in that way, they will check the protection of the crop. For protection of the crop, what they will do? What they will do children? For protection, they will make one fence because so many animals can come and eat. Okay? So they will make one fence. First point, second point, so many pests are there. Pests like locust, grasshopper, and so many. What does a caterpillar mainly? This can what they will do? They will eat the leaves, they will do harm to the crop. So for this way, the farmers will use pesticides. To control this, to destroy this pest, they will use pesticides. Okay? So, the other one is, it may cause some diseases also. Okay? And coming to the next one, storage. Growing a crop is one thing. The second one, protection. The third one is storage. How they will store the grains? Very important. So, suppose any moisture is there in, while storing the grains. Then the whole grains will spoil. The moisture should not be there. So what they have to do? They have to store in a airtight containers. Okay? Some animals like ants, squirrels, birds, this all will eat the grains. Okay? So they will spoil. And they have to avoid for uh, to avoid them. They have to use an airtight container. Okay? So in this way they have to store. The moisture should not be there. They have to avoid from some small small animals and birds. Okay? Coming to the next one. The farmers, if they need a very good crop and very healthy crop, first what they require is they have they will check about the season, climate, soil, how to plow the field, how uh, is the seed is ripened or not. In the same way, irrigation, manure, fertilizer, everything they will check. In the same way, what they will do? They will go with the protection. And at last what they will do? Storage. All these three are the main points for the farmers will do. Yes? So any time to grow crops, to grow plants, first of all, plants always should be grown under favorable conditions. Okay? If the conditions are good, okay, then only the plant can grow very well. And coming to the next one, if the crop is good, if the crop is good, this will to our country. This will to our country. So children, now you have 
uh, now we completed the day 2 one also up to 211 page number 211 so now day 2 also please go through the lesson read the lesson properly go with the underlining part frame some questions okay i think you all understood so go with the main points frame some questions to the then read over the lesson. Okay? Thank you so much.